Hello, Kim. I'm so glad you're here with me. Thank you for saying yes to coming on, even though you can't. The time zone makes it really wonky for the under the influence when I invite people that are um, out of the country. So yeah. I appreciate the opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm I'm really pleased to be here. I'm very excited to to be involved in this. It sounds so interesting. So it is it is so much fun and it gives me the opportunity to get to know other artists that's kind of that is absolutely 100 percent why i do it because i'm so inspired by the art that people share on um, instagram in particular but you know artists that i follow i love learning new things and um and just seeing how people use the same sort of supplies that i use in, in different yes. ways and, yeah. and that sort of thing it's so interesting, isn't it? Seeing yeah, how it is, it really is. How it it's, works, and it's yeah. such a great education um, if you look at it that way. Hmm. Um, so, tell me a little bit about myself, about yourself. Where are you, first of all? And um, yeah, let's start with that. So, I'm a mixed media artist. I live in uh, London, UK. So that's what was the <laughs> time zone issue. And um, yeah, so I live with my partner and two cats. Oh, and I see. <laughs> that was going to be my right question. Right on cue. <laughs> right on cue indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, she, she got the memo. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if mine will uh, turn up later. Let's hope. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I We're think they're being fed, out. so probably won't see them. <laughs> I had I had a student the other day say, how do you keep cat hair out of your work? I'm like, I keep cat hair out of my work. <laughs> no, <laughs> You're doesn't just not looking close enough. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll tell you something. Sometimes what I do is if it's like really noticeable, I might sort of correct it online um, digitally afterwards. Uh, just some of the things. If it's just like, you know, really yeah sort of takes your eye away from them <laughs> exactly exactly but otherwise it's just a it's a bonus it's an added it's inclusion the texture right? <laughs> she is going to be famous someday because of her addition to my art <laughs> <laughs> so how did you how did you get started with mixed media art right so i came through the paper crafting avenue that's how i got into it and i was card making so first of all it started as a hobby doing the card making and then i started getting paid for doing magazine articles and things like that and then when the mixed media sort of hit the paper craft world and i just oh this kind of like i got quite excited about it and i started sort of veering more to that kind of direction i, I love all of paper craft in fact I love all of craft all of art <laughs> everything but I did start really connecting with the mixed media part and so I've been paper crafting for about over 10 years I'm not so good with timelines so <laughs> over Same 10 yet. years and then I transitioned fully into the mixed media art around about five years ago I think and I just love everything about it it's just it's so much fun, isn't it? <laughs> it? It really, it really is. So um, what, <clears throat> who inspires you in the mixed media, in our mixed media art world? Oh, um, pretty much everyone. There's, there's just so much talent out there and it's so amazing to see how we've all grown together as well. And I just love that. And I love being introduced to new people that I hadn't seen before, or maybe that I had seen, but I hadn't seen them transition into different things. And there's just too many to sort of mention. I know, I know. that's always the it's hardest hard, question. I get it? that one out of the way up front. But <laughs> sometimes I learn from other artists, like, who, and I always ask my students, who's inspiring you now? And that that's directs great. me and and helps me when I pick out the nine artists for under the influence it is um it's really it's a fun process because I go out there and I try not necessarily to search people that I already follow but I'm looking for uh, hashtags and things like that that they're using yeah. and so I love a new discovery yeah. um and usually it's it's students who are like oh have you seen the artwork of so and so and then you know that takes me down that that rabbit trail but um yeah it's so much fun to be inspired by by people and see 
how they're using, again, like I mentioned before, the art supplies in maybe a way that I'm like, oh my gosh, I have those. Let me try. I want to try that. Right? <laughs> yeah. So what is your, and this is a hard question because for me, it's like, what day is it? This is my, usually my answer to it. Like, what is your favorite art supply? What is one thing that you couldn't do? With? And it, I know for me, it changes, but currently what's your obsession? Currently, this is actually the uh, was actually quite easy because I've suddenly realized how much I'm loving ink tents pencils. Yeah. You know, the, the so water reactive pencils I love and crayons, but yeah. there's something about ink tents that I just really, really love. And they just turn up again and again and again. And once I sort of like realized that they were turning up again, again, I thought, OK, there's there's something here that I just can't get away from at the moment. So I'm just working that through. <laughs> Now, do you also use the blocks? That's cur I'm curious yeah, about that. I have them. I have them, but I've still, it's still the pencils that I go back to. And I've got the paints as well. Have you seen the yeah. paints? No, I haven't. They're, they're I think they're basically the blocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, paints. <laughs> I think they're basically the blocks, but in a sort of paint palette, like a watercolor paint. And um, so I've got those as well. I don't know if the formulation is very slightly different. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm looking around. I'm like, are, are you talking about? Oh, it's on the bottom. Of course, it's on the bottom. Um, <laughs> are you talking? Are they are they different than the blocks, or are they just in the tin that they're in? Because my tin, my ink tin, no, that it's 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 a different term. It's a different format that they sell them in. But I'm not 100% sure how different they are to the blocks. Does mine have that? Is that what mm. you're talking about? Like the, no, no. The wealth? no okay. They're actually done okay. in a paint palette. So they're sold in a paint palette. <laughs> so you can I sort will, of take them around I with you. I will respect our time together and not hop on right now and like yeah, find them. them. <laughs> I'm that much of a supply junkie that I'm like, oh, something that I need to try. So thank you for that. Yeah. So That's awesome. Yeah. I probably use those more than I use the blocks. So I've got yeah. all three different formats and it's the yeah. pencils and the palette that I use the most. Yeah. yeah. So hmm. fantastic. I love them too. I love the vibrancy of them. I love just yeah. the, the flexibility. Like they just, they can mm -hmm. do so many different things. So yes, I am yeah. a fan mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, so speaking of that, like in your process, do you have a favorite spot in your process? A lot, of, a lot of people love to start things. A lot of people love to finish things. A lot of people love sort of the in-between. Um, do you have a certain part of your process that you enjoy the most? Um, so I think it's probably, I think it's probably the start and the finish. Mm. Uh, the start because of the, the sort of like, once you've got over that sort of like, not doing your art thing once you've sort of got into it and you can do your art getting started all those possibilities just throwing things around I really love that yeah and then the finishing once you've got to that point where it goes through it's all messy you don't think it's ever going to turn into anything and then there's some sort of twist mm -hmm. and turn yeah. you might just add a mark or something and you're like oh hold on a minute and, yeah. and then that bit just sort of, yeah. that sort of fills me with joy. I enjoy that bit. So I love that so much. And I love hearing people's answer to that because it's, it's always <laughs> different. And I'm like, oh yeah, I like that too. Oh yeah, I like that too. <laughs> I like the messy middle because there's, I'm not worried about starting and messing things up. Right. And I know that I'm in that, that messy part and there is just the pure creative exploration. And I know I can always fix it if I don't like it. Right. Mm. And yet it's just sort of that comfort zone for like, I'm not calling it done. I don't have to worry <laughs> about where it's going, but it's just like, it's right here. So it's, it's, I think that's it's a very funny. good way of doing it. Yeah. 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 There's no real, you know, just a curious question I always have uh, to ask people. So do you ever get stuck or feel unmotivated to, to, yeah. Yeah, I can do. I can do. And that's why I say starts are good, because if I start in a sort of, you know, just a playful, I'm just going to put some color here. I'm going to just dab here and um, then I can sort of get over that, that sort of like block that stops me from going forward. And even if I don't finish what I started on and go and do something else, at least I've started and I keep going. But that middle bit that you described there there's sometimes when I get sort of stuck and 
it can feel I call it um teeth pulling I feel mm. like there's something frustrating and I, I can't quite work out what it is and then as I said that twist that makes you go oh and you can continue yeah, on yeah, kind yeah. of thing so yeah. I, there I do get frustrated with those sort of things but I, I just keep going you've got to keep going you've got to keep sort of working through it as you say knowing that you can fix it and yeah whatever comes out is whatever comes out of it so yeah 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 I love that so much now I forgot to ask you do you do this is is your art your full-time thing or do you have yeah yeah it is now it's my full-time thing so um I think I started started in the creative industry over 10 years ago and I pretty much went full-time quite quickly which I don't know if that's the best way of doing it I think I would have preferred to have found my voice and my own art before I started sort of doing everything online mm -hmm. but it just it that's not how it happened for me so yeah. you know but so what yeah. are you what are you doing with that like do you how do you tell us how we can find you what you've got going on and that sort of thing so I teach and I have workshops I also run a monthly art club that's hosted on patreon mm -hmm. so and I put a lot of uh, a lot of what I, I do goes into patreon so all of the processes all of my blocks and how I get through them and hopefully helping others <laughs> as well to do that with their own work and you can find me pretty much anywhere under my name <laughs> so Kim Dello if you look for that you'll find me I've got my website as well so kimdello.com and that will direct you to all the various places that I'm that I am <laughs> and you can join my newsletter too <laughs> excellent oh I'm so excited to introduce um our our participants to your artwork and work under the influence of you you are going to be the first one that we cover so tomorrow so we'll oh. make sure, we, yeah, so tomorrow <laughs> we will, um, we will hashtag and tag you in what we create and all of that. Oh, I can't wait to see. Yeah. I really wish I could be there. I just, this time zone thing, I'd love to sort of see. So it's a, it's a rough time, but I will send you, I'll, actually, I'll give you access to the, to the video so you can watch what people do. Oh, Plus you'll you. be able to see the, the, um, <laughs> the after effects as well as people tag you in what they create. Now, do you have a, a favorite? I didn't, I didn't prep you for this one at all, but oh, right. um, <laughs> do you have a favorite um, piece or art journal page or anything that you've done recently, like close at hand? I don't want you to have to get up and, and oh, wander close about. At hand. I've got something close at hand actually, because yeah. this I'm on my working desk at the moment. So Perfect. I have a pile of journals and I've literally just finished this today so oh I love that <laughs> oh that's lovely I it did now was that a, a, a reductive painting process you painted the whole background and then reduced it down yes, yes. it's got collage in there as well and ink tense pencils so yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kim, for being on with us today. I can't wait to dive in and look at your work on uh, Instagram tomorrow with the students. And um, we're, I'm so grateful for what you share um, so freely, so generously on Instagram to inspire the rest of us to keep creating. Yeah. Thank you. And I, I am, I'm really, I, I'm very excited to be here. It's going to be a really interesting to see your take on it because I love what you do. And I love to see sort of like how you interpret it and because I think it will show some stuff that I might not have thought about because do you find that happens you sometimes Absolutely. yeah and yeah. I'll be like oh I didn't even realize I did that or I guess I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I yeah so thank you thank you very much for inviting me so. thanks so much and have a good rest of your day and you <laughs>